Welcome to the Who Works When page in TeamRack. My name is Steven van der Paal, CTO of KV Social and creator of TeamRack. In this video, I'm going to show you how we use the Who Works When page. You can use the Who Works When exactly the same or use this video as inspiration for your own company. So, the Who Works When page uh, started, uh, we added this for ourselves as to know which of your team members works at which time. So in a distributed team one of the biggest challenges is uh, arranging a time if you need to work with somebody else to be online at the exact same time. This often involves a lot of back and forth in, in the chat or by email or whatever communication tools you are using which is a waste of time when you can just log into TeamRec come to the who works when item in the menu and actually see when somebody is online so you can adjust your time to be in line at the same time. So whatever happens when people are traveling around and switching time zones this page will actually uh, detect your time zone and, and ask you um, uh, oh we've detected a time zone change do you want to change it like uh, very similar to a uh, Google um, Google does in their calendar uh, and stuff as well. So under uh, over here under settings, uh, you can also manually override your uh, select time zone, <coughs> and the system will here also automatically try to detect it and set it for you. So when uh, you s look at the page, the Who Works Run page, it's very simple. Uh, you can browse around different uh, weeks. Uh, to see when people are online in the next week or the previous week. A previous week not being very uh, very useful of course, but uh, as a manager you can kind of see oh, which times a, a person said they were going to be online and actually compare that if they were going to be online, if that's important for your company. We don't really do that all too much. Uh, it's more of a guideline for our company. I'm not going to say to my employees like okay so you've said you're gonna be uh, there between 1 p.m. and 8 p.m. Uh, or 9 p.m. actually here uh, and you weren't there so um, I'm gonna give you an infraction or whatever uh, so this is more for us it's a guideline so <coughs> it's for our employees themselves uh, and uh, for the teammates as well. As you can see over here uh, you have a list of all the employees, everybody that's registered in the system and it's, if it's very simply just uh, shows you when somebody's working by this colored bar over here. So you can click on anybody's name, you can see as well when you hover over it uh, you see the full name and just click on this and you see it for the whole week. So I've set it uh, to my time, so I'm not much of a morning person as you can see. I'm more of an afternoon and late night person. And over here that's mostly my, my dinner time. Uh, down here when you scroll all the way down, this is where you set it. So obviously I've already set it so you can, uh, you can already see it. And by setting it all you need to do is click the time zones. So we do it per hour, I don't think it's very necessary to do it per minute or per half an hour. So um, it's just a very simple matter of clicking what uh, what hours you're available. Uh, you can also just click here for the whole day and then just deselect a few, uh, whatever works for your teammates. So super easy to set and then just hit this button update availability and it will be saved. And you can also set it to repeat for four weeks so you don't have to think about it for the next four weeks. Uh, that makes it a little bit easier as well. The system is built in such a way that if it's not filled out, if your hours are not filled out uh, by Monday uh, midnight, then the system will send out an email to the uh, the team member uh, just to remind him, like hey, like hey, fill out your work hours. This is kind of to push people to make sure uh, the times are always uh, up to date, so it's actually useful for everybody in the team. If you have an integration set up with um, Get Harvest or Work Snaps or any other uh, time tracking uh, solutions that are supported by TeamRack integrations. Uh, the system will take the times from the previous week if it's not already filled out manually by Monday night itself again and will uh, use those hours to set it automatically. So that's just another uh, kind of nice automation we have built into the system uh, using integrations. Uh, to make the the, the, fill, the filling out of the time a little bit less of a, an, an annoying chore, basically. 
So that's it, a uh, very simple page, but incredibly powerful, uh, very actively used in our company uh, with some reminder features to make sure it, it gets up to date and people are using it. As you can see here, pretty much everybody has filled out. Uh, he, this guy is currently not working, so that's why it's not filled out. Uh, Neil's always a little bit lazy, <laughs> just, just kidding. Uh, but yeah, he should actually fill it out there as well. Uh, so everybody else has filled it out I see except for uh, this guy but he's actually not working in our team he just needed access to check something out uh, well actually I can probably better remove him uh, soon as well from the team right so that's it uh, that's the who works when page uh, I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next video